Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Val, this is Emma Lillman. In this series of videos I'm gonna show how imagination and singing affect piano playing and how to create your own interpretation of music that cannot be done so well by following traditional way of practicing. teaching, students might be corrected about making more accurate pianissima quite often because their sound wouldn't be soft and yet full and rich enough. Unfortunately, that's not enough to just ask students to play softer. By trying playing softer, students will start naturally straining their hands to avoid loud sound, kind of holding back the natural weight of their body and arms. And that would affect sound, it would become empty and uneven and lose its quality. And also, if teacher tried to explain students how to use arm weight to play with more full piano to control better the sound, it's also not enough because sometimes students have no clue about correct, good sensation of arm weight. Beautiful pianissima can be achieved and controlled by our imagination and the way technique that we can feel through singing. Again, let's talk about imagination. You can imagine sound in the timbres of ocean or violins or cellos or vocal voice in the tr transparent and very soft sound. Now, why would consider something affects our imagination that would also affect playing? because the energy of imagined sound affect directly the energy of our muscles. So in the moment when we feel this sound that we're about to play, we would also feel the same energy in our fingertips, in the muscles of our fingers, and that energy would create the exact touch that we need to express our sound idea. Let's take a look now on the difference between playing without imagination and with imagination. So if I don't have any clear sound idea in my mind and just follow my teacher advice to play softer, how that would sound like? 
Well, I do feel that I'm kind of holding the energy somewhere here. Don't let it go, you know, fully into the keyboard. I still have some tension here when playing piano. Now, uh, let's imagine ocean of violins, very transparent, very gently and soft. Okay, right away I already feel this sound on the tip of my fingers. Uh, let's go. Again, somehow the finger muscles in the palm starts working without even thinking about this. <laughs> I'm not lifting my fingers so high anymore. Let's see how soft I actually can play. So I'm trying to play as soft as possible, but you see there are some steel notes that um, fade away. So this is because we don't use weight technique. So let's talk about weight technique. While playing passages, we control our tone not only by finger muscles, but also through weight of our body and our arms. Now, weight can be felt and sustained through singing. And please watch this video that explains how to feel weight while singing and while playing and again I'm gonna sing without weight and with weight without oh, with oh. so that free energy that affects our singing also affects energy uh, in our muscles while playing and because we're gonna intonate this way every single interval internally while playing this is how we would control uh, this free energy while playing uh, that helps a lot to control our quiet tone <laughs> so again let's see how we can play without weight and how weight can help us improve our pianissima so again without weight even if I imagine it's super quiet and transparent and I kind of control it over here over there on the tip of my fingers I still not quite comfortable playing it now if I'm trying to play with weight what happens okay so what does it do it helps the energy freely flow to the keyboard without stopping anywhere in in my arm and i'm playing with full weight i'm not holding back anything and this energy of weight is actually the same as if i would play forte inside me but this energy is just a little bit of different by the quality so I'm absolutely in control of my tone singing fully so that would be the difference <laughs> imagination and singing <laughs> well please guys follow the accurate dynamics here if it's written piano then you have to imagine especially all the accompaniment 
very soft, almost transparent, just like a cloud, all this stuff. I would imagine it back to my sofa <laughs> with in timber, in harmony, and in this super soft sounding with movement. And still I'm making the sound between notes and all the movements in it. So if I'm imagining everything in timber harmony and soft dynamics, that would sound this way. that controls my fingers and these muscles are in the palm of our hand. That's it, it's that simple again. And in my next video I will show how to make accurate crescendo and diminuendo. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.